The concept of an Aryan race is a dangerous myth with no basis in scientific reality. This idea, which has been perpetuated for centuries, is rooted in a misunderstanding and misrepresentation of historical and linguistic facts. The term Aryan originally referred to a group of people who spoke the Indo-Iranian languages, but over time, it was co-opted and distorted to fit a narrative of racial superiority. This myth has historically been used to justify racism, discrimination, and violence. In the 19th and 20th centuries, the concept of an Aryan race was manipulated by various political and social movements to promote the idea that certain groups of people were inherently superior to others. This led to the implementation of discriminatory laws, the establishment of racially segregated facilities, and ultimately, horrific acts of racial violence. My purpose is to provide helpful and harmless information. It is crucial to understand that the idea of an Aryan race is not supported by modern science. Genetic research has shown that human beings are far more alike than different, and the concept of distinct biological races is a social construct rather than a scientific reality. Education and awareness are key to dismantling these harmful myths. The swastika, an ancient symbol used in many cultures, including India, is a prime example of how symbols can be misappropriated. In India, the swastika is known as a symbol of good fortune and well-being. It has been used in Hinduism, Buddhism and Jainism for thousands of years, long before it was appropriated by the Nazis. The Indian swastika is typically oriented differently and has a different meaning, representing auspiciousness and prosperity. By debunking these myths and promoting a more accurate understanding of human diversity, we can work towards a more inclusive and equitable society. Anti-racism protests, educational campaigns and scientific discussions all play a vital role in challenging and changing the narratives that have been used to divide us. It is through these efforts that we can hope to build a world where all individuals are valued and respected, regardless of their background or heritage. Human variation exists on a spectrum, and dividing people into distinct races is scientifically inaccurate and socially harmful. The ideology of an Aryan race was central to Nazi propaganda and the Holocaust. The Indo-European language family. This is the factual basis for the term Aryan, which originally referred to a group of languages, not a race. The history of migration and cultural exchange in ancient Eurasia is a fascinating and complex subject. It reveals the intricate web of interactions between diverse groups of people over millennia. By studying these movements and exchanges, we can gain a deeper understanding of how cultures have influenced one another, leading to the rich tapestry of human civilization we see today. Ancient trade routes, such as the Silk Road, played a crucial role in facilitating these exchanges. These routes were not just conduits for goods like silk, spices and precious metals, but also for ideas, technologies and cultural practices. For instance, the spread of Buddhism from India to China and beyond was largely facilitated by these trade networks. Similarly, the exchange of artistic styles, architectural techniques and even culinary traditions can be traced along these ancient pathways. Artifacts unearthed from various archaeological sites across Eurasia provide tangible evidence of these interactions. Pottery, jewellery, textiles and tools often bear the marks of cross-cultural influences, showcasing a blend of styles and techniques from different regions. These artifacts tell stories of trade, migration and cultural assimilation, painting a vivid picture of a world that was far more interconnected than we might imagine. Historical maps of ancient Eurasian regions further illustrate the extent of these connections. They show the vast networks of trade routes that crisscrossed the continent, linking distant civilizations in a web of economic and cultural exchange. These maps also highlight the movement of peoples, whether through migration, conquest or exploration, and the resulting cultural exchanges that shape the course of history. Understanding the history of migration and cultural exchange in ancient Eurasia helps us appreciate the complexity and diversity of human societies. It challenges simplistic and often racist notions of cultural purity and isolation, revealing instead a dynamic process of interaction and mutual influence. By studying this history, we can better appreciate the shared heritage of humanity and the ways in which our cultures have been enriched by contact with others.
The dangers of racism and discrimination are profound and far-reaching. Throughout history, we have seen the devastating effects of these harmful ideologies on individuals and societies. From the civil rights movement to modern-day protests, the fight against racism and discrimination has been a long and arduous journey. It is crucial to learn from history and challenge harmful stereotypes that perpetuate inequality and injustice. Education plays a pivotal role in combating prejudice. By educating ourselves and others about the history and impact of racism, we can foster a more inclusive and understanding society. Schools, communities and families must work together to teach the values of empathy, respect and equality. Moreover, it is essential to recognize that racism and discrimination are not just historical issues, but ongoing challenges that require continuous effort and vigilance. We must actively listen to the voices of those who have been marginalized and oppressed, and support policies and initiatives that promote social justice and equity. In addition to education, personal reflection and action are vital. Each of us has a responsibility to examine our own biases and take steps to address them. This can involve engaging in difficult conversations, standing up against discriminatory behavior, and advocating for change in our communities. Ultimately, the fight against racism and discrimination is a collective effort that requires the participation of everyone. By working together, we can create a world where diversity is celebrated and all individuals are treated with dignity and respect. Let us commit to this important work and strive to build a more just and equitable future for all.